Hi, how you doing people? As you can see from that intro, I uh, I turned the mics off because I was grumpy as you like. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but every time I get a day off, it rains, because I tend to get days off during the week quite a lot. It's just the way my job works. Obviously I get weekends off too, getting older, don't want to break me back and all that. But every time I get, we finish a job and I have the afternoon off or a job gets canceled or we get a lot of jobs in at the beginning of the week, it seems to rain every time it's my day off. So this is a bit of a scouting, scouting, is it scouting? No, I was hoping to come and get some decent shots. Uh, the weather forecast did say it was gonna rain, but it was gonna stop. Um, I've come to a place called Wisman's Wood. And this is the beginning of it. Just Google it, cool place. I think I've been here once or twice before, but a long time ago, never really with the cameras. Stumped oak trees. I don't know a huge amount about it, but I know it's a, it's a cool place. So just Google it, Wistman's Wood up on Dartmoor. But yeah, it was dry when I left the car and then it started hammering it down. So that's why I muted the, um, the sound at the start of the video because I was chuntering away and moaning like mad. But anyway, I'm here now and I've just got here and I'm gutted to see there's a sign on the floor here, I don't know if you can see it from there, that says, walk around, not through. Please avoid going in amongst the trees and boulders of the woodland. Stick to the path around the wood. This is to avoid any damage to the fragile habitats, trees, lichens, and mosses. So, I can do that. We might have come along and wrecked shit. What I'm gonna do, oh, that little birdie. Hello, birdie. Hello. I was hoping because it started raining, I was hoping there'd be some kind of misty and it'd be kind of not so as flat as this. But because I'm not allowed to walk through the woodland, this is more of a ski, I suppose it's more of a scouting trip really. If I can get here with the right, right, um, right conditions, it will make for good photography, I think. I might just take some pictures from the outside. Obviously not going through. I've already seen one picture I like. Oh, everything is soaked now. Oh, I'm still here, just getting my camera out of my bag. What I do quite like already looking at this place is obviously a lot of the branches of the trees look good for framing shots. It makes a change actually to use no filters. Nice to just walk around solo, give it all you got. I don't know if you can see me all the way over there, I might need to move you, but this oak tree here, this branch coming over, I like the framing of that. I'm all right here, plenty of people have walked here, I'm not doing any, any damage. Yeah, quite like the framing of that tree and these rocks in the foreground. So basically, I've got these rocks going from right to left. Rocks, boulders, is that what you'd call them? There's bears everywhere, loads of them. These rocks going from right to left, heading towards the base of the tree. And I've got a tree and the nice, like almost like a hand coming over the top. I quite like that. Ooh, I don't know how I'm gonna frame that bad boy. Do I want the whole of the tree? Do I quite like that? Well, I'll tell you what, I might need a tripod because I want plenty of depth of field gonna get me tripod. That was me thinking I was gonna go free solo. Ah, oh, that's the problem. What to take, what not to take. I don't want to up the ISO. I've got the Canon EOS R. I can up the ISO a little bit, but it's not amazing. It's, it's all right, not amazing. Although saying that, a few people seen the new update for um, Lightroom, the AI noise control. Oh, that's something mental. I was playing with that last night. I might have to do a video on that. I don't do a lot of videos on editing because I don't class myself to be an amazing editor. That's my composition. Forget my camera's in the way. I've got this rock in the foreground here, which is cool, which is quite nice. I've gone in close and I'm shooting wide at 17 mil. I've got this because I don't mind curving the edge of the frame. That oak tree's got a bit of a curve anyway, but I don't mind. I can curve that all I like. And I've got the framing of this over the top. And I quite like that. And not only that, because I'm in close, this branch comes all the way around and past my camera. So it feels like I'm really in the shot. That's the kind of shot I'm going for. F14, quarter of a second, ISO 100. There's the start of the woodland over there, look. It's all the way along over there. Now what's scary is, look at the height of those trees. <laughs> 25 foot tall, max, would you say? Apparently these trees are under his years old or something. That's why this place is classed as a bit of a uh, protected spot. Cool little oak tree, nothing to do with the wood. The wood's behind you. I don't know what it 
is, but I just always feel like I'm being watched. Little oak tree, it's weird. You've got all this wood here and all this line of oak trees and then, dink, little self-seeded one just dropped out by himself. How cool is that? This tree is just starting to bud for this season and it's still got old leaves on it from last year. Cool is that? It's like, ooh, I'm letting these go. But anyway, cool little tree, single stem, a couple of branches coming over, but I quite like it because I've got the tree on the left, which has got a bit of a bend and he's kind of out on its own and the angle I'm taking it from, we read from left to right, don't we? So I've put the tree in the left-hand side of the frame, going from left to right, the way we read. I've got the tree, I've got this fence that runs all the way along the bottom. I've got the river that runs all the way behind it. And then I've got the headland. Is that headland? Slanted field that runs behind the tree and goes off in the distance to the right as well. And then I've got the boring old white sky, but it's quite moody. It's a little bit of mist in the air. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. So I'm focused on the tree. 15th of a second, F14 ISO 100. Histogram's looking pretty good. I quite like that. It's nothing major, it's nothing amazing. It's just like a cool little tree. I've had some funky sky. This would be a brilliant place to come back for sunset, I reckon. But yeah, I quite like that. Quite liking these colours, these muted colours at the minute. I love the greens of the wood in there. It looks smart ass, but um, yeah. Carry on walking around the wood now and find some kind of shot I'm looking for. I don't know if I like that or not. It's not really what I'm after. It's not really going off into anything now. Onwards, upwards. Just can't find the shot. I don't want to go into the woodland because they don't want me in there. I'm just all around the outside at the minute. I don't think it's what I'm after, but it's the best I've come across so far without going into the wood. Still just on the outskirts. I'm kind of liking this branch here kind of wanders off to the right, back in, then takes us into this kind of the crown of the tree. Just where I want him now, and I think I want him up there really high. In fact, I quite like that. Back of the camera, it looks nice. Yeah, I quite like that. Come on, baby. Come on. God, everything, everything I touch here is spongy. Oh, there's some nice boulders down the bottom, but they're not really encouraging or doing anything to the shot. Yeah, I like that bit of wood like that. I don't know if I like it now. Do I like it? I was set on it earlier. I did quite like it. Too kind of distracting. How frustrating. Was it better coming out all that way so I can see all the branch? Don't think I like it. I thought I liked that earlier. No, I don't like it. Right, I'm going to go for a shot. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to take the shot and have a play with it anyway. Again, F14. Do I want to focus stack now? Because I suppose... Oh, not much in focus. It's 20th of a second. I've gone for manual focusing. So I'm trying to balance up to get the best depth of field. It's a bit of wind and this branch is moving. But I need like an eighth of a second. Image stabilisation is good, but it's no good when the thing you're photographing is moving. I think that's a bit sharper. Everything else is way out of focus. I think what I might do is... Yeah, that to be a bit of a focus stack on that bad boy. Well, I don't think I'm happy with that shot. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have to... I want it all in focus. I don't just want the end of this in focus. So I'll focus. I'm only going to do a two-shot focus stack, though. Um, which would be this bad boy and that branch going up there. Because it's just too much. Because I'm shooting so close to this. I can't get me depth of field across the two, so yeah, between a fifth and eighth of a second. Bucker, I was hoping I might get something a bit better than that. You never know, back on the computer. That little subscribe button down the bottom. Give it a little tap. All right, people, that's about it, I think. Just come out of the woodland. I think I've got a couple of good shots. Seems like hours and hours ago that I got my first shot with the framing branch of the, of the oak tree. The mistake I made is after I got that first shot with the oak tree, when I walked around the outside of the wood, I had it in my mind that I was gonna get a shot. I had a certain shot in my mind, and because that's all I had in my mind, so that's all I was going for. So I think I probably walked past so many other shots because I was determined to get this one shot, which I don't think you should really do with photography when you go out. I mean, yeah, it's nice to kind of have a kind of planned shot, but you never really know what the conditions are going to be like. You never know really what it's going to be like until you get there. And so don't, yeah, I just kind of set myself up with this particular shot. And I'm a bit gutted now because I haven't got it. So lesson learned, don't do that like a pleb. 
But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry, probably a bit of a mismatch, and there was probably me setting up the camera. No, don't like it. No, don't like it. But that's photography. That's what makes it worth it when you get that bang on shot. It's like, yes. All these days you go out with the camera and you don't get it. Like today I've come out, it's rained. It's a bland white sky. It's just, I know some, sometimes in these videos I probably come across as being so grumpy, but I'm not. I'm just gutted because I've worked full time. When I do get a chance to go out, it bloody rains or the weather's not right. Don't get me wrong, raining's good for photography. It can give you puddles for reflections and it can make leaves on trees silky and shiny but um oh it's one of those but anyway i enjoyed it love being out as always i want to say cheers to you new subscribers i think i've got five six or seven new subscribers this last month um i'm going to be banging videos out now every friday definitely one every friday if i can get any more in there i will um so cheers for subscribing anyone new to the channel that little subscribe button down the bottom i've never really asked i've never really pushed this before but if you want to hit that subscribe button go on give me a little tap i'm definitely going to go back there with my Canon EOS R, the gimbal from my Canon EOS R, and get some nice cinematic footage because it is an awesome place in there, all around it. I didn't go in it obviously because I'm not allowed. A bit gutted I couldn't walk through because I reckon there would have been potentially some great pictures in there. But see you in the next vid. Cool. Cheers. Bye.